Hi, this is Amanda from Barocco, and I'll be demonstrating how to work the Francis scarf using Barocco lacy. For this demonstration, I'll be using a crochet hook. The thing that's kind of funny about this project is that even though you're using a crochet hook, you're not actually working real crochet. You're just using the hook as a tool to make this scarf. Um, before we get started, I wanted to point out a couple things about the yarn and where you're going to be sticking your hook. You can see when you look at it that there are dense areas alternating with more open areas throughout the ribbon. And when we stick our hook into it, we're going to be only working in these wide open areas. If you take a closer look at one, you can see that there are actually two big loops. There's this one here, which is loop A, and then this one is the second one called loop B. And we're going to be sticking our hook into these kinds of loops. So if you take closer look at it, you can see there's this nylon chain that's running along the top of it. And when you stick your hook into the yarn, always make sure you stick it underneath the nylon chain, so all the way into this big open area, rather than up here into this little top part. So always stick your hook in there, and then on loop B, same thing, down here below the nylon chain. Let's get started with the actual scarf. Um, the first thing you want to do is clean up this kind of rough looking edge and what you want to do is kind of roll the yarn about an inch or so into the ribbon and once you have that all kind of rolled up stick your hook through all of these top layers it's a little hard to see because there are so many layers all crammed in there but just stick your hook through all of them since they're really lacy and open it's easy to do and then take a look at this next wide open place and stick your hook through the next available loop, which in my case is going to be this, and then pull this new loop through all the layers of your roll. So now you have a loop on your hook and your end is secure and you're ready to get going with the real part of the pattern. So the pattern is broken up into two parts. There's a gathering stitch followed by a lock stitch and you just alternate these until the scarf is the length that you want. To do the gathering stitch, you're going to put your hook into the next four loop A's. So looking here, I can see my next loop A is going to be this one. So I'll stick my hook in. There's one. And then I come to the next loop A. That's number two. Here's loop A number three. And loop A number four. So once I've got them all on there, then I'm going to pull loop 4 through all the other loops on my hook. So let's do it like this. There's one, two, three, and the last one. So that's a gathering stitch. And then we're going to have to do a lock stitch after that. And to do a lock stitch, you want to stick your hook into the next available loop B. So since I just had a loop A here, this loop is going to be loop B. So I stick my hook in and I pull that loop through my previous loop. So that's the lock stitch. So for the rest of the body of the scarf, you just keep alternating the gathering stitch and lock stitch until the scarf is the length that you want. And when you're ready to finish it, you need to finish it off kind of in the same way that we started it, using a roll to kind of clean up this messy edge. So for the sake of demonstration, let's pretend that over on my right hand side I have a really nice looking ruffly scarf, and that is what is attached to this loop on my crochet hook. Now with my last little bit of ribbon, I'm going to roll that last inch or so up, just like I did at the start, and then I'm going to stick my hook through the top sort of sections of all of these layers just like we did at the beginning, and then I'm going to pull them all together through my old loop so that now that's what's on the end of my hook. And this final loop you can secure using a little bit of sewing thread or something just so that it won't run, and you'll be all done. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching!